All right, guys, we are seeing 93 mega hash on a 3080 Ti LHR, the horrible, horrible LHR low hash rate that NVIDIA has put in place to discourage crypto mining. I don't know why they hate us miners, but oh well. Thanks to T-Rex, man, they are finding ways to unlock this LHR. And on this uh, 025.12 version, I am getting, on average, 93 mega hash. Sometimes it goes up to 94. And the power is about 280 watts. Some card, I got one card there burning some hot mem. I have a copper thermal pad coming for that boy to keep him below 100. Yeah, he, uh, he needs new thermal pads. I did replace them a month ago. No joy on that. And I decided to go with the copper thermal pad, and hopefully that is going to fix the memory temp on that card. You see, also my 3070 Ti, I'm doing the same as well. Those cards burn hot, and I really now think that 3070 Ti has a bad temperature sensor, because the card does not feel hot. I don't know what's going on. I just don't know enough. So we'll see if the copper thermal pads help. So here we are, 93, 92. On average, the thing has been running four and a half, almost five days now. And we're getting, what, 560 mega hash. I am on the eSil.me mining pool right now. I might switch back to Ethermine to see if I get more. But I'm also getting the Zill coin as well as a reward for mining on that pool. It's awesome. Love it. Collect as many coins as you can. And uh, maybe you'll do well. Who knows? All right, looking good. Again, the latest T-Rex miner is available on their GitHub, on their website for download. 0.25.12 I, I highly recommend downloading it and trying if you have NVIDIA cards and see if you can get some performance here I am mining with some of my rigs on the Ezil pool and you can confirm that the numbers match up the mega hash rate matches up to what T-Rex Miner is showing so it's all good everything's looking good trying to get more juice out of these GPUs because I am not buying any more GPUs at this point I just looked on eBay and that still so people are asking a little too much yet over MSRP. So I'm holding off maybe next month. Uh, the prices will come down yet some more with supply increasing and people not buying cards and people unloading their current cards. Uh, we should see a major price drop. All right. So here are my overclock settings in T-Rex Miner. I crank the fans because fans are cheap. If they go, you can replace them for a couple bucks. Uh, you see my... Um, memory clock and my uh, lock core clock setting I do not set the power level you do not have to when you set the absolute core clock and you don't need to set the core uh, the core setting because by setting the core uh, absolute core lock setting you don't need to set the power level or the core but you can you can take off that absolute core uh, clock setting and uh, set the uh, core clock directly with the power level so your choice i just do that to regulate the power usage and run a little more efficient is what i found it's been a while since i used that but i mean when i put it in place but i was getting a little less power watt usage and uh you know not bad uh hash rate so right now the key is running efficient keep that power bill down and it might spiked up for some reason this month i got to figure out what happened maybe more ac was being run because we're down south but who knows but there we are, looking good. Any more mega hash to get out of these cards, the better. I need to get that ROI. No, there is no profit until I get to that ROI level. So right now I'm just trying to recoup the money I invested in these cards and uh, keep on mining, man. That's where I'm at. All right, guys, go forth, do great things, and let me know what hash rates you're getting. Let's share. All right, bye. Take care. Blammo.